You know, the main thing about doing CEREC implant abutments is being organized, setting it up properly, having the right uh, information right in front of you at all times, yep. and then keeping the components together in one little section. It's going to make the restorations go a whole lot easier. patient up when you're um, doing an implant is you're going to go down and you're going to select abutment. And so this is all from the left side of your screen. And so what we do is you want to always select multi-layer abutment because what you want to do is you can then decide later on whether you're going to split it or restore it as a screw retain crown. So we always just select multi-layer. And, and again, the reason why we do that is, is because we want to set up the materials at the beginning. You don't have to mm -hmm. split it later, but if you don't, if you get to the end and you need to split it, now you got to go all the way back right. and set up the materials. So you might as well just set it up at the beginning mm -hmm. on what the abutment's going to be and what the crown is going to be, which is the veneering structure. Yep. Right. And so next is you're going to set up um, your biogeneric individual. Hey, wait um, a second. My head's in the way. Let me move my head. Oh, no, go ahead. Big head. <laughs> my big, big head toss. Big head toss in the way. <laughs> um, so next you're going to uh, be able to set up um, your framework material, okay? And um, so when you select your manufacturer, um, you're going to have Serona, Vita, and then Ivoclar. So we're going to say um, that we're going to do Emacs. So we're going to select Ivoclar, um, and then we're going to do Emacs. Um, and then next is your veneering structure, which is kind of a weird term for them to call well, that. Well, this is a German program translated into English, and basically the veneering structure is what's going to veneer on the top. top and it. So it's the crown, what, what's going to be mm -hmm. that. And then even going back a step, the framework material is your abutment. abutment. What's the abutment mm -hmm. material? So, so uh, we chose Emacs on that as well. Um, and then next, if you have multiple milling um, units, you're going to select which one you're going to use. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so next, uh, we're going to select Dense Placerona. And then you're going to select your tie base. I need to get out of the way here. I'm here. You just go ahead. You do your thing. Just move it on over. <laughs> just slide over it. <laughs> um, so then here is where you have your whole list of your tie bases of what you're going to use. Whatever your manufacturer is that you're, you place or your oral surgeon places. Um, so a lot of times we, have, we use Nobel BioCare. Um, so we're going to say that we're going to do Nobel BioCare Replace Select 5.0. Okay, so here is the part. You want to make sure you tell Sarek, are you using a tie base or are you using a scan post? Right. So basically the difference between the tie base and the scan post, if you're not sure what that is, um, is they're exactly the same except for one's tall, one's short. Right. So, and the reason for that is if you put your tie base in and your implant is placed, you know, very subgingival, it's going to disappear. Um, it's going to be so you, too low. Way too low, and then scanning it in, it's going to be difficult or almost impossible mm -hmm. to do. So that's where the scan post comes in because it sticks up taller. Right, and it, you only make that mistake once. So you put the tie base in. <laughs> you're going to have a super tall tooth, or you're going to have a really, really that's short right. tooth. So you've got to set this up right. You have to make sure. So we're going to say that we're using a tie base. So we'll select that. And then we go through, and we're going to select what to we're doing. Yeah, so after she selects the, the tooth, then this generates mm -hmm. up over here. So this is the case details for this one restoration. So if you look at the uh, administration phase, this left-hand side is basically how to generate the restoration. And then when you get something over here, this is all the details for this. So if you're going to change something, you, you go to the drop to hit the yep, hit drop. So you and would then, change it here. Then you change it mm -hmm. here, but you don't put it over here because you're going to just yeah. add another one. Right, exactly. This has definitely been our Bible when it comes to setting this up. Um, and you can go to Dense Placerona's website and you can print off your order form for your scan post or your tie base. I don't use this to order it, um, but it has all of your order numbers. It has your different sizes, your scan post, your tie base. You know, and it can get very confusing. Yeah, that sheet of paper is plastered wherever we're going to make an order mm -hmm. because we reference it so many times. And, and the numbers can be confusing. You know, they really can because, you know, for instance, Nobel BioCare Active 3.5 you're not going to order a Nobel BioCare Active 3.5. You're going to order a 4.5L. Right. 
That's right. And that can get, you know, so confusing and you don't want to have the patient in the chair and figure these things out. So what we do is you want to make sure, you know, when we get our surgical letter in, I go ahead and I look, I immediately go to this sheet and I find what I need to order and I order it because these go on back order a lot. Yeah. One, uh, one really neat thing that uh, Cindy came up with is uh, how we organize our tie bases. And so we just have a uh, couple little boxes here and each box is represented by each implant manufacturer mm -hmm. and and type so like this top one is the Nobel BioCare Replay Select the one just below it is the Nobel BioCare Active, Active. we also do mm -hmm. Strawman 3i and and in this box we have uh, each well and in each well is a tie base kit uh, a, a scan, scan post. post and we always have two scan posts for mm -hmm. every case because you know sometimes you know it, there's two implants mm -hmm. placed and what does the surgeon do or what do you put in there the same size the same so size. your 18 and 19 is going to be the same size you want to be able to scan and and yeah. propose and do them both at the same time yeah and another reason why to have the scan post is that if it does if a tie base kit goes on back order, you can still scan mm -hmm. the patient in with the scan, scan post and order and wait for them. Mm -hmm. So let's say we use this tie base kit. This this goes uh, with the patient, it becomes part of the prosthetic and it comes out of the well. Well, in the bottom of the well, we have the order, order number. number for this tie base mm -hmm. kit. So as soon as this comes out, we order another one. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the thing is, is if they go on back order and you gotta wait a couple weeks and you told that patient, that, hey, we're gonna be mm -hmm. ready on Monday, that may not happen, right. and so you want to make sure you, you have that. And then in the other little wells, you can keep your drivers, mm -hmm. extra screws, and things like that. And another thing also that we have is we have the analog for all of those sizes, because what happens is when your skin yes. post, um, you need to, we sandblast those because it's a very shiny metal, and as we all know, um, the Omnicam has a tough time seeing things that are really, really shiny. So what we do is we sandblast um, the outer surface of that to kind of give it a matte finish so that way it scans in better and we don't have a lot of problems with that. But what happens is now you've sandblasted off the size. Um, but if Here, you have the you, analog... You hold it because I, I, this will show up really well with your pink fingernails. Yes. <laughs> so what we have... <laughs> We have lovely pink fingernails, but we also have, you know, the analog. So you can see that we have the um, scan post screwed into the analog. So that does a couple of things for us. One is we always know what size it is. So once it comes out of the sterilizer, it now doesn't have the size on it, but you can try it into the analog if you get confused. Say you've had two implant patients mm -hmm. and they have different sizes and everything comes out. And um, we never worry about we're not sure what size it is and um, also it keeps everything together so you don't lose the screw that's right because i mean when they're in these boxes things like that happen the screw gets lost now you can't use it and you're ordering new screws so and um, we always keep an analog so we have two scan posts we have two analog <music>